Hi. Something is making me feel like this looks different for some reason. I don't know why. I think I normally have my phone like that. Anyway. Nerf. Jesus Christ. I'm getting a lot of notifications. Okay. Um, Nerf, Rival, Edge, Saturn. Mouthful. It's a pump action. Rival blaster. So fires the rival rounds. You know, you love them. It's like a shotgun. Like a full size one. I really like this blaster. Got us some wood. You know we like that. Iron sides are dope. We've got a primed indicator. Our safety's right here. This is hot. This is not. We got us a uh, rival rail up here. I think I also have something different in my settings going on. Anyway. Not really a sling mount, but like you could loop a sling through here. And theoretically, you could hook a sling through here. I don't know about all that. But unpriming. So if you have a jam or something, you pull down on this and you can unprime the blaster. You can also double feed it if you're not careful. Okay, well. So much like the other members of the Edge series, I don't know if the pistol blaster in the Edge series came with one, but if you remember the Nerf Jupiter came with a little target. I think I had it in the video where if you hit it, it would ding. Um, very cool. Hello. I have a kitty at my feet. Trying to get the rival round I just launched through my room. So um, this one came with a kind of a freestanding target where um, I don't know if y'all have seen them, but what they are, they're imagine like caltrips, like the little um, bundle of nails that no matter how it lands on the ground, there's something always poking up. This is a style of target that it's built kind of similar to this. To where, like, there is a bracket in the middle. I know, this is clear. Look, use your imagination. And, like, you hit it here, and then it'll flip over. So, like, no matter what, it'll have, like, a part of it sticking up for you to shoot at. They have a, they have these in the real, sh like, shooter, like, real firearm world. They're usually made of steel. This one comes in plastic. It looks just like this. It's downstairs because I didn't like using it. So I took it apart and left it there and I didn't think to, you could loop a lanyard through here, maybe. Not very well. It kind of looks like, okay, so what this functionally is, is a long takedown, the Nerf Rival takedown. This is just a longer version of it. This has a 10 round capacity. The takedown has an eight round capacity. Or it may be eight, it may be seven, something like that. So, in terms of, like, this is a lot of plastic for just a 10-round pump-action blaster. It's about the same size as the Jupiter, which also is a 10-round blaster, also integral magazine. You can't see the magazine in this one like you could with the Jupiter. But um, the takedown does not have, like, the stock. It doesn't have the feel that it's like a hunting shotgun. You know what I mean? The takedown does have a backstop right here, like a better grip. I believe this came out before the takedown. My one huge gripe with this is that the grip is a little chunky. It's a little, the texture is not very good. Not very, you know, um, and there's like, it is very easy to, if you don't have the grip on it. Other than that, good blaster. Um, 
it's it feels like a pump action shotgun like it feels like a because a lot of pump action shotgun style blasters tend to be more like modern semi-auto shotguns or or rather modern shotguns where they have the pistol grip like I don't know I don't really have an example but like this feels kind of like you know like left for dead the first shotgun you find kind of deal like it's pretty dope I would love to use this in a humans versus zombies kind of deal because it feels good. It plays good. I, I talked about this in the Jupiter video, but like the, like, it may not be that, sorry, I have a hair like attached to my lip. It may not be the most efficient way to use the space. Like there are other I'm trying not to lose the rival rounds that are in my hand that I'm about to show y'all how to reload this. Um, there are more efficient uses of this. Like, what does this do that a Kronos can't do with, like, the Kronos being, like, this big versus this thing being this big and this has twice the capacity? Meanwhile, the um, rival Hades, you know, the big one that I showed you, has a 60 round capacity, and it's still only a little bit bigger than this. Like, size versus capacity versus, but this, I I would argue this um, has a different feel to it. Yeah, that's actually another pump action primary that, this is almost the same size as the Hades, but like, if I were going into like a blaster battle or something like that, I would rather have this because I think I would have more fun. Um, for one, this thing has sights. It is a little easy. Like, you can see the front one. Since the camera focus is weird right now, like, see that? Like, the sights are good. It feels good. It, like, I did not grow up on a sh with a shotgun shooting team. Like, the pull, bang kind of thing. But, like, the stock is a little short for the length of the gun itself, um, but like, I think, I think it does just fine. So, you got a loading door up here, it's just like the, it's just like the Jupiter, in that the loading gate is like up here, you can see the round that's there you just take one take one in push it down into the whoops push it down into into the magazine if you don't push it down all the way you'll push it into the chamber and then it does have slam fire so i'm gonna hold on to the trigger and it will fire as soon as i'm done pumping it This kind of like makes your rate of fire a little bit higher if you need to like, you know, take care of multiple targets tactically and efficiently. Feels good. Big ups on this blaster. I don't remember how I got a hold of it. Um, because the Jupiter, I actually had to, like, order off of Walmart's website and t tell them to send it to a nearby Walmart, which wasn't even mine. Like, I say my, my personal Walmart. The Walmart that was closest to me, it, it was, like, the next town over, and I had to go get it there. This one, I think, actually was at the Walmart that is in our town. Um, I don't think they're on shelves anymore. We're empty now, sadly. Um, so, I don't know. I know that, like, the um, the Edge pistols, I think they're called the Mercury. Um, Gravy's made her exit with a rival round in, in her mouth. Like, got one. Um, because it's been a while. I've, I have reclaimed a lot of my rival rounds around the house. 
and I've had my uh, dart bin hidden in like shut <laughs> uh, more more uh, structurally sound so she hasn't been able to get any of them lately uh, so she is very pleased that I'm recording with a rival blaster right now um, kids am I right anyway I think that's all I've done she brought it back. I guess she heard me talking shit. Um, I love this blaster. If you like... I don't know. Like, how do I say? Like, if you like the feel of a pump action... Like, if you want to get the feel of using a pump action shotgun from a video game... I mean, this, like... It feels good, it holds well, it makes you feel like, I don't know about Doom Slayer, because, like, I think he uses, like, a double barrel, so I, I, it's not that, but, like, you're only shooting one projectile at a time, so one can argue, is it really a shotgun blaster? Because a shotgun blaster is one that fires multiple projectiles at a time, much like a real shotgun, but a lot of nerf blasters don't do that. So this is just a single, you can double rack it if you pull on the um, unjamming dilly. Um, trigger feels good. I don't know what it is about the edge line of blasters, but good grips, good triggers, solid blasters. They feel great. Again, stock could be a little bigger. Feels like little baby. It's not no Busby stock, that's for dang sure. Anyway, that's all I got to say about this.